Hey there folks, it's Pliskin by 51mm. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video like this in my room where you can all see me and I'm facing the, the camera. I figured it's time to do another one of them videos. Uh, I've been real busy the past couple days. I've had to uh, do a lot of outdoor yard work and running. I uh, also had to go vote today, local elections here in Indy, uh, so I had to do that, and uh, just running and mowing, getting things put up for winter, and getting ready for deer season. Uh, me and my dad went to the range earlier today, didn't bring the camera, but uh, this was the group that I had with my M1A, nine shots, that was the first shot. And this one I pulled it. I, ha I had to pull that one. But the rest of these, like from this bullet here to this one is 1.50. It's like basically that same length all the way around. So that was my new uh, load with a 150 grain Sierra Spitzer boat tail. And uh, 43.5 grains of Varget powder. And this was my dad's uh, 30 out six. His first two shots were up here. Uh, cold bore, uh, clean, and then he put the other ones right here. So our deer rifles are ready to go. <clears throat> I've got the M1A here. Let y'all see it. The M1A loaded. Taking it out for another bout this year for deer season. Going to try, going to try to get a uh, a video, a kill shot video. Going to try. Uh, we'll see with the M1A because I got a picture of it last year uh, of me posing with the deer, and I made a little vlog thereafter. So we'll we'll see. Hopefully, I'll be in a position where I can get my camera out and uh, or pass it to my dad. Hopefully, and he can hold it and. It just watch me, uh, you know, drop the hammer on one because I think that would be pretty cool. I think you guys would enjoy that, and I'd enjoy it too, just for the simple fact of being able to, you know, come back years later and rewatch it. You know, because I mean, if I kill a really big one, like I, because initially last year I saw a huge, a huge buck. Uh, he is off in the woods, and it was on the same hill I killed the one last year on. But he was a little bit further up the hill in the woods, and that dude had antlers that came out to like about like right here on his head. It was like a miniature moose, is what it was. And I, uh, I wasn't sure if I could have made that shot with the M1A because at that time that was at a distance I hadn't shot the M1A at. Uh, the one that I did eventually end up killing last year was at a distance I was familiar with. Uh, you know, 200 yards, roughly 250. You know, I had more confidence on the deer that I actually killed. But the initial first one I saw, I wasn't sure I was able to uh, to uh, hit it with the M M1A. So I used my dad's uh, 25 aught six, and I missed because I haven't shot his 25 aught six in any real serious fashion in a few years. Uh, he doesn't take that one out very much, and I haven't shot it in a long time. But he passed it to me, and you know, I I lined him up. I got him there in the crosshairs. I was trying to control my nerves because this was like the biggest buck I've ever seen in my life, and I just squeezed the trigger, pal, and I missed him. So if I kill one that big this year with the M1A, I hope I'm able to film it because that'd be uh, that'd be something to go back and uh, remember and rewatch. But I am taking the M1A again. This year and next year, I'm thinking. Next year, I'm thinking about taking the 765 Mauser. I'm thinking about taking this one out next year for a, uh, a deer slaying uh, bonanza. You know, get a little of the old old history, old military rifle in on the game. 765 by 53 I've got some work I want to do with this rifle because the last group I loaded for it shot pretty good it's been about a year ago 
maybe a little bit longer than that and I shot a I got the video on there I'll put it in the end of the uh, comment linked comment below a uh, pin comment below and uh, I did a I worked up a load for this um, a year ago or so and it shot pretty damn good with like 312 and 311 bullets so I'm wanting to take this one out next year I'm just showing it off I'm already thinking about next year's deer season <laughs> but yeah um, this will be my one I take next year I'm thinking my dog's barking now and in further news, I bought a uh, PMAG Gen 3 20 rounder. A Gen 3 20 rounder magazine for my AR-15. I haven't opened it yet. I'm hoping that we'll go to the range again later this week. And I'll be able to take it out of the package and do a function test on it right then and there. So, um, yeah, but they were, that gun store that we go to all the time, uh, was out, he was out of 30 rounders. All the 30 rounders had been bought up, so I settled for the next best thing and got a 20 rounder. You know, because it's, I mean, yeah, it's a 20 rounder, but you know, it's still more than 10 rounds. And I'm just curious to see how this one will function. I don't know if I'll paint it. And I may go back out there and buy some more 20 rounders. And, you know, just have the ability. Because, I mean, for 12 bucks out there, for these P mags is pretty pretty good so yeah I figured I'd show that to you guys um, but yeah that's what I've had going on and the dogs barking anyway uh, I'll see you guys all in the next video hopefully we'll be going shooting here in a few more days later this week hopefully maybe and I, I can do a function test on this P mag uh, we'll see Anyway guys, it's been Pelican by 51mm. See you all in the next video.